Um, we have story for we you. We have story for Wait. you. You might say we say money does not, not make, bring, bring happiness. Does not bring happiness. Mm. Sorry. Money brings happiness. <laughs> Try. I have not seen poverty, but like I have seen people see it. Successful people are found in the training ground. I am my guest today. I'm telling you how successful you can become in 2024. Hi guys, my name is Jennifer. And me, I am equally a lawyer. I'm a voiceover artist, a podcaster, and I own a business where we make customized handmade footwear yeah. for males and females. Yes. So I'll go first and then you can ask me your own as well. I just wanted to know like your shoe business and your podcast. How were you able to just say, you know what, I want this? Okay, truth be told, I think right from when I was a child, yeah. I've always been a creative. Okay. I like to, I like creative people. Right. And I like creators. And I believe that I was created to create. Mm. <laughs> Word. 2024. <laughs> so I believe that I was created to create. So in being created to create, I decided to use what God has given me. I'm not okay. I'm not going to try and brag. I'm not even bragging. I have many talents. I act. I do video editing. Like, I like I do different things. And sometimes I feel overwhelmed because I'm really trying to do all, but then it's difficult. So I found the ones that those expressions of my gifts that I can use. I know the ones I'm using to make money, and I know the ones I'm using for fun okay. or just to you know impact yeah for instance my podcast is for impact so that is a platform for me to speak and invite people that are better than me maybe intellectually that yeah. can also speak to others speak life to them and then someone else's life is transformed, it's transformed. then my business on the other hand where we make a customized handmade footwear yeah. that one was specifically i think it came out of an idea and last year i wrote a couple of things i wanted to start Achieve, doing exactly yeah. and I said I was going to start a um, footwear business. And you did. And I Look did. <laughs> and I did. Look and I'm, I'm happy. I mean, so far, we made sales. I think since I started last year, people said, I, I was really shocked. I didn't expect it because I was like, you know when you're starting business, you don't, some people, they don't make sales immediately. Yeah. But it took a while. But then people said, come in and buy it and buy it and buy it. This person would be like, okay, my size is this, this is the style I want. And I produce. And they are happy. They are excited. They're like, okay, they love their footwear. Yeah. I also have a career in terms of my degree, what I studied. How multifaceted is this woman? Anyway. <laughs> But away from that, the thing is, I know what I want, and I'm going for it with my full chest. Poverty is a like no. cut it out. The question to you, mm. our lovely YouTuber. Mm. <laughs> so, as a lady, what do you think there are things we can do mm. to make ourselves successful mm. and still remain at the top and still be, you know? Good and nice. The first thing I would always say is mm. make sure you're not trying to emasculate. I like using that word. Mm. And then the next thing you need to do for you to rise without the stereotype is just being yourself. Okay. Don't try to fight with men physically. You yeah. win emotionally because we are emotionally more into mm. than men. I've already, I've always noticed and I've yeah. always said it. Exactly. Um, we have story for we you. We have story for Wait, you. Let me ask that one. I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. She'll tell you herself. Take this thing. So we, we were at the lounge and yeah. we were just talking and yeah. the, the director of the media comes and speaks to us in a way that we don't understand. Mm -hmm. And she says we should, you know, we told her we are going to the pool area. Yeah. She just said we should, we should just go the way she said we should go. I think it's because she knows she's older than us. Mm -hmm. That's for a fact. And probably she's surprised that her two ladies so comfortable. You know, in the lounge, sitting and just chatting. And why should I even be a problem? You know, we asked the staff, and the person said that she's normally not like this. Yeah, that she has a bad that she just has so she transferred it on us. We now took the blame. aggression. Mm. God, have please, mercy upon us. Please, wife, for which whatever position you are in life, please learn to speak to others politely. You don't know who they are. You don't know where they come from. It could save you a lot of stress. I could, yeah. I could bring more customers here if I was speaking to companies. Yes, yes, but yes. now that I was speaking to in a way that uh, sounds like I'm in mean, problem, I don't know if I'm able to do that. When it comes to successful people, what way, what one way would you say we can try to emulate them in transforming our lives? Like one special thing you know about successful people? The first thing I realize that most rich people do, most successful people do, is discipline. We are in a generation where most people are declined yes when it comes to 
being hard working mm-hmm. and exercising discipline. Everybody yeah. wants to make it. I mean, I want to make it. We all want to make it. But to to take the steps that get you there is now the problem. And that's one thing our generation lack. Yeah. Lack discipline. We say we are going to do something, but then we don't do it. Okay. And the world is so competitive. And let me be very honest, at the top, there is so much space. It just depends on you being intentional about the things you want to do. And in being intentional, you have to incorporate the attitude of discipline. So if you don't have discipline, there is no way you can, you can be successful. Let's, let's just be very frank. And there are still other factors, but discipline is one of them. To get to a particular place, you have to take one step at a time. But you will drink to that. <laughs> Why is it important for you to try achieving some form of success from your 20s through your 30s? Except you love poverty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My sister. Sorry. Except you love poverty. You can choose not to be successful. Well, you see me, I have seen, I have not seen poverty, but like I have seen people see it. So I know I don't want to be in that state and I know I don't want to suffer. I mean I have been broke and I know what it feels like to be broke. Yeah. And I know the feeling that comes with being able to afford the things you want to afford. Mm. Being able to gift to your loved ones and friends without feeling some sort of burden in your heart. I mean, there's a joy that comes from having your own money. There are people that are good with being comfortable. I mean, they can afford basic life things. They can yeah. afford clothing, shelter, yeah. Yeah. food. They can afford anything like mm. that. But then, there are people that want more than that. that I true. mean, they want everything the world has to offer. And it's still fine. Everyone should be at their own comfort level. The second thing is self-esteem. I'm not trying to say that material things increases or decreases your self-esteem. Yeah. But I'm saying there's something, there's this joy that comes from when you can enter a place and they don't speak to you in a manner you don't like. The third thing I would say mm. that people should do in order to be successful is happiness. Oh. I know that uh, money does, okay, you know what you say money does not, not make, bring, bring happiness. Does not bring happiness. Mm. Sorry. Money brings happiness to me. <laughs> but there is this happiness you have in your mind when you're able to do the things you want to do. I mean, I can enter a store. Okay. Maybe today is my mom's birthday mm-hmm. and I want to surprise her. Ah. I can enter a store, comfortably get um, footwear, clothes, whatever it is, uh-huh. just to give to my mother. Yeah. Okay, so um, what do you think of other factors that one could have to be successful? Wow, that's a very good question. Personal development. So let's say a person is from a very poor background, a woman, and now she's in her 20s and people look at her and they don't think she's from a poor background. In fact, they look at her and they see her friends already. And, and people just want to talk to her and want to get to know her. Do you know what has happened? Her personal development has surpassed her background. Her family background. Yeah. Then another yeah. one is talking to someone that you really know is if that's where you want to be. Yeah. That person is like already a role model, like a, a mentor, good in a position in that place. And so, because you've read books about yeah. different ways of achieving that self improvement, personal development, self improvement is another one. Personal development, reading, writing, researching. You know, even if she doesn't have a browser phone, her friend that has, she uses her friend's phone to get to know things and she jots them down. So her friends are carried phone and go, but she has that knowledge. My mom always used to say, your school people could do anything to you, yeah. but one thing they will never do is take away what they've got to If they like, let them turn the building upside yeah. down. You see that thing you have in your brain is forever, until the day you die or you have amnesia. So if you have knowledge on personal development, self-improvement, it goes a long way. Find a reason why you have to be successful. Find a reason to develop yourself beyond your family background. I like all these quotes I say, live in the moment, you know, enjoy the things you have now. It's very good to enjoy the things yeah. you have now. It's very good to be contacted. But I equally feel that even while you are like seeking on contentment, Men, yeah. you should make further development to get your life to that, work, to that point yeah. you want it to be. If you want to be as successful as this person, 
read about them. Check if the steps they entered are the steps you're currently working on and walk towards walk towards that area. Not today. I don't mean role models that did really ugly things. Mm. I mean good things. Because you might not really be happy about where you came from. Yes. You might not be it might not be lovely saying I'm from this family yeah. because they are not one of the top, top five families, families yeah. in the world or mm-hmm. something. But you can make something out of yourself. And in the process of making something out of yourself, you're not just helping you, you're helping your generation. You're helping the children that you will give birth to. Yeah. And when they grow up, they'll be like, I'm proud my mom took this good step. Yes. Because now they can come out in the public and be like, you can't talk to me anyhow. I mean, I don't mean rude or arrogant, yeah. but they know themselves now. They know the capacity they have. Yes. So they won't let others step on their heads. You get my point? Yeah. So find a reason to be successful and also pray for the support. Yeah, prayer. Yes, very, very important. Yeah, very key. Yeah, interesting. So I'll wrap up by saying, um, I'm wearing my channel's merch, guys. I didn't bring my cap, but the behind the scenes is there. <laughs> but like, I had to do this cross stores with this one. I'm sure you know my yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. best friend. Good, yeah. she's really amazing, and um, you say her to have really no But like, I wanted to do this because. I just felt the need to have a YouTube channel. I couldn't knew anybody would be interested in trending topics, yeah. you know, useful tips like today's video and vlogs, you know, vlogging about some new places I found yeah. or uh, a new wedding I went to or just, you know, places yeah. that I've discovered in any book. I, I didn't know people needed that and I'm grateful. <laughs> Cheers.